morning, everyone. It is 1030 Saturday, January 29th. Um, I just arrived at um, my phlebotomy um, practical. I'm really excited. I'm a little bit nervous because um, I'm not super comfortable with like all of the tube additives and what tests go with what tube yet. Um, but I'm really excited to start learning how to draw. Um, I have a lab coat on. I had to, you know, get a lab coat for this. So it's my first time wearing one of those. So I feel like official. It feels kind of cool. So, um, yeah. So wish me luck. So good morning. We're doing a, um, we're kind of talking about what will be in your toolbox if you're doing um, mobile phlebotomy or just a phlebotomist in general when you're about to go see patients. So, of course, you always want to make sure you have your safety things in place. Your mask, um, gloves, um, hand sanitizer for sure. You want to have a sharp container. Remember when your sharps get to this line, you should get rid of it. You want to have bags to put your specimens in. Um, straight stick needles, needle holders of course. This is a needle holder. You want to have um, two by twos. You want to have some tubes, so different colors, different flavors, right? Depending on what it is that you need to collect or draw. You want to have alcohol prep pads. If you have a business of your own, you want to have business cards. Definitely want to have tourniquets, and tourniquets come in different flavors, um, different sizes. Um, I always take tape, although I am a person who likes to take Band-Aids because some people prefer Band-Aids. Um, but tape is your backup, or if you have Coban, use that. Um, I do take a, um, a device uh, urine transfer in case I have to deal with urine. And of course, I take a butterfly needle, a black Sharpie marker. You do need an ink pen. Um, if you have requisitions from your physician, you want to use those, or if you're doing your own, you use those as well. And that's pretty much sums up my box. Oh, did I say the labels? Just in case. <laughs> So I just finished day one of uh, my phlebotomy lab training. Um, so we got to go out into the field and stop by, you know, patients' um, houses and um, watch her do draws as she was teaching us. So tomorrow we are going to practice on each other. Um, we practiced tying tourniquets today, so I have my very own handy dandy tourniquet here to just get a little practice at home um, tying it off um, and then I'll be back here bright and early tomorrow to actually do draws myself um, so it was a really good day I had a really good time um, this is actually coming at the perfect timing because we're doing hematology right now in my AMP class so I feel like a lot of the material of course is going to you know cross over and help deepen my understanding. I did listen to a few videos on the way down here about um, phlebotomy, special draws, um, you know, which tubes, SSTs, PSTs, EDTAs, and the tests that go with which. So I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with that, especially, you know, as we were going out and getting, you know, preparing tubes to take into patients' homes. And, you know, she was quizzing us on, you know, okay, this patient needs X, Y, Z what color tube, you know, what additive, that kind of thing um, that they would need for that. So I'm really super excited and I'm loving it. So I'm about to listen to a little bit more um, phlebotomy lectures and um, probably throw in some a and in there and then I have to go home and do Spanish homework that's due tomorrow. So I definitely wanna get that done with and out of the way um, before we have our second part of practical tomorrow. I um, also wanna start really like practicing and taking more practice tests for the um, practice, or not the practice exam, but the NHA examination um, to be a certified uh, or a CPT, certified phlebotomy technician. So super excited, had a great day, um, yeah. <laughs> So I am 
leaving day two of my phlebotomy lab practical. So that's officially over. Now I'm just gonna start studying and preparing to take the test in a week. I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. I was so nervous, um, you know, practicing on my, my volunteer patient who uh, was the other student in the class and um, I got a straight needle stick on the first try, yay! So that was really exciting. Um, it was, you know, the median cubital vein. Um, I tried to get a butterfly needle stick twice um, in the hand both times. I was not successful, but that's okay. Um, it's gonna take time and lots and lots of practice. So I'm just super, super excited. Um, super ready, you know, to take this exam. So this week I'm going to be studying that in addition to everything that I have in store for um, the second week of spring semester. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend Maryland Success Labs, Miss Jennifer Hubbard. She is just so sweet and down to earth and you know, just gained a lot of real life experience about how phlebotomy works. You know, not everything is the perfect world situation like they want you to think on these exams and in these, you know, books and stuff that you have to read. You have to kind of um, learn to adapt to the situation. And sometimes you have to be really quick about that and, you know, critical thinking and thinking on your feet. So, you know, this will definitely come in hand with nursing school. I'm so glad that I already have, you know, a good foundation on this. Of course, again, there's still so much to learn. Um, but yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. Good morning, you guys. I'm getting ready to take my phlebotomy exam for certification. Wish me luck. So guys, I did it. I apologize for being a hot mess, but it's early in the morning. I took my phlebotomy certification exam. Today is Sunday, February 6th. Um, my exam was at 8.30, it was 100 or so questions. Um, I had about an hour and I got an 87. I only needed a 70 to pass. So you're looking at a certified full body technician. I'm so grateful, I'm so thankful. And now everything is done. I will be applying to nursing school this coming week. I'm so excited. It was definitely a great journey. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more to come. Thanks for watching my journey. Bye.